Right, so we're down in the moisture. One uh, flight level one nine seven descending one five thousand. Uh, uh, so we just check the vertical profile again, and there's nothing. Ten right, which is where we're tracking. But this cloud is obviously going to be bumpy, but it, it won't be wet. And so back to. Uh, Okay, I got traffic at 37 you want to stop map. at 36? Map, oops, let's keep that at 10. Thanks, okay. To the map. And got a little one coming in here. It should be within 40 miles, which should be showing up on the radar, but it isn't, so maybe it's too small. Oh, there, maybe there it is. Let's go back to the vertical, see if we need to do anything about that. Medevac 775 Charlie, Charlie, cross. Noel at maintain one six thousand. That's Salt Lake altimeter three zero one two. And it's a little one, very little. I'm gonna go with uh, let's go fifteen right. Quest fifteen to the right. Yeah, give her a call. United fifteen twenty eight. United fifteen twenty eight. Go ahead. Step back. We actually like to stay. Uh, go direct Durango, then Millsap for United at fifteen twenty eight. Yeah, how fast that changes. And are still requesting. Oh, uh, no, we're then, back on course, uh, right? Quebec, Papa. So, we still got more, but one that we were concerned about, which is so small, it was hardly worth worrying about. Um, and it's still here. We'll be okay with this. Yeah, let's, see, let's see what we got to do to get around this here. That's still tracking in. That's taller than I thought. Ah. Yeah, let's go 10 right. Center Meridian 134 Echo Bravo requesting 10 to the right for weather. Press. Number Press. 4 Echo Bravo, deviation right, of course, approved. Advise clear weather. Wilco. Uh, deviation is approved, 4 Echo Bravo. Yeah, just Wilco, as I have to say. Right. And now we'll watch the magic here. Looks out, looks out the window, which is maybe a little scarier than. Oh, yeah. Reality. There's the reality, but there's the next rad picture, which is equally benign. So these things on the next rad haven't moved much, so this is actually corroborating with the radar pretty well. But again, you, you can't do tactical weather avoidance with NEXRAD. You, you must use the radar. And there it is. Slow down a little bit. Let's go at a lesser rate. Switch. Yes. Cancel that. Let's this down to 500 or so. One able direct Malad City, Mike Lima Delta will advise Alaska 332. 647 Mike Kilo 410, just occasionally like chop on a left. Yeah, the wing is staying clean. We're at a minus 8 C. So these clouds are pretty warm. And don't have a lot of moisture in them anyway, as we know from the radar. 25.902, Alaska 332, good day. Exit at 668, contact Sully Center 135.77. 3577, exit at 668. Rain showers, thunderstorms are. A little tricky, you should get some specific training on that. Uh, if I can help, please feel free to call with your questions. Uh, Number three, Mike Alpha, area moderate precipitation between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock, three zero miles, area is five miles in diameter. They see radar works resolution as a function of your distance from the event, so uh, no, things can change rapidly. Star Trek 240, Salt Lake Center. Trails, we're on a heading. We need to be on uh, 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 now, right? No, no. No, because we're deviating. Oh, we're deviating. Yeah. 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 Uh, deviating uh, request to Bryce Canyon for weather. And as soon as this disappears out of here, we'll go back. Go into 20 miles. And Salt Lake Center, Hawker 900, with you. And I'm going to say another 9, or another 10 to the right. Ask her for another 10. Press can you with 33 on Do that now. Yes, ma'am. Hawker 900, with you here. Let's just do a little bit more here. I won't be a problem. Is there opposite directions available? If not, we request 3-9. 
So generally speaking, green is safe at a close range. Yellow is also, but it's a little noisy. And red we want to stay away from. It's another couple of miles, and that'll be clear down there. All right, let's queue up uh, direct destination. Do it direct, enter, enter. Let's see where that takes us. Hang on one second. 128.1, Skyway 4177. 200 to go. Uh, no, we want this heading based on this. Now, that's not corroborated yet, but that's coming into the 30-mile range. Let's go back here and switch back out to 40. See if we can't pick that up. You can put the power up a little if it's not going to be so bumpy. It looks like it's going to be okay. Bring the power up and let's see what we need or want. So it's looking like the the direct to the field is uh, uh, 10, 15 left of our current lubber line. We're going to go 15 left here. We're going to paint the vertical profile and see if that's clear. And if it is, we'll make the turn. You can see we still have some high clouds in front of us over to 15 left. And, I, you know, that looks okay to me. I mean, I, uh, you know, I'm not uh, no, the radar weather expert, but I use it a lot. And I, know, I know exactly how it works. Oh, right, uh, let's see. Let's see what goes. Uh, I think we're going to be okay with that on course here in just a minute. She's not worried about it, and so neither are we. So let's just hold our course here. November 4 Echo Bravo, contact Salt Lake Center, 118.05. 118.05 for Echo Bravo. Tell him we're deviating right, of course, and we'll let him know when we can go back direct to the airport. We got to go over that way anyway. Yeah, we still don't have the site so for Charlie and uh, as close as we can go. The only uh, reason I'm showing you NEXRAD now is because uh, the radar doesn't show anything in our path. Um, I might have to and so this is and, uh, drying up even as we speak. And then I can get you back in behind them. Just to let you know, here's what the radar looks like. Now, all these little smears in here are likely to be water. We only care about that water, which is right now. That's our track. The white dash line is our track. That's about five to the right. Let's put bearing pointer five to the right. And let's go back to the vertical profile and see what, if anything, is in our path at this point. And there's really nothing there. That's a symmetrical paint, top to bottom, meaning no water. Looking out the window, it seems our uh, predictions have uh, found to be true. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely.